Rondo three up high and off the ball. Get ready for a wild ride through basketball's past, as I'm here with the 10 wildest moments in NBA history. If you stay until 10, you'll catch a fan versus NBA player moment that had everyone on a chokehold. And the bats have returned. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, that was only predictable. The Here comes the Coyote. And the He's Coyote. ready this time. He's ready to not get him. Oh! Bats took over NBA Arena. I'll begin with the moment when Bats invaded an NBA arena. It was a regular season game between the San Antonio Spurs and the Sacramento Kings. The atmosphere was electric as the players took to the court, ready to battle it out. But little did they know that they were about to face an unexpected opponent. As the game got underway, a commotion erupted in the arena. Fans and players alike looked up to see a swarm of Bats descending from the rafters. It was a sight no one could have predicted, and chaos ensued. The players tried to continue the game, but the Bats had other plans. They swooped down causing players to duck and dodge, trying to avoid the winged intruders. It was a bizarre scene, with players and referees swatting at the bats, trying to keep them at bay. The game had to be temporarily halted, as officials and arena staff worked frantically to remove the bats from the court. It was a challenging task, as the agile creatures darted around, seemingly enjoying the chaos they had caused. Eventually, with the help of pest control experts, the bats were corralled and safely removed from the arena. The game resumed, but the memory of the bat invasion lingered in the minds of everyone present. This incident was a stark reminder that even in the controlled environment of an NBA arena, nature can still find a way to make its presence known. It was a testament to the unpredictability of live sports and the resilience of the players who had to adapt to the unexpected circumstances. Bats, often portrayed as mysterious creatures of the night, play crucial roles in ecosystems worldwide. With over 1,400 species distributed across the globe, bats occupy a diverse array of habitats, showcasing their remarkable adaptability. These fascinating mammals can be found in a variety of places, from dense forests and caves to urban environments and even deserts. Among their favorite habitats are caves and hollow trees, where they seek shelter during the day, roosting in colonies that can range from a few individuals to millions. Bats are also known to take up residence in abandoned buildings, attics, and barns, drawn to the dark and secluded spaces that mimic their natural roosting spot. In urban areas, bats may find refuge in bridges, tunnels, and abandoned mines, utilizing these structures as roosting sites and hunting grounds rich in insect prey. While bats are typically shy and unobtrusive, their penchant for roosting in human-made structures sometimes leads to conflicts, particularly when they invade homes or agricultural buildings. The bat invasion also highlighted the importance of arena maintenance and the need for preventative measures to ensure the smooth running of game. From that point on, arenas implemented stricter protocols to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future. Let's move from bats to the moment a natural disaster threat ended a game. Folks, we're experiencing an earthquake right now. Earthquake ended game. Excitement filled the air as basketball fans eagerly awaited the debut of Zion Williamson and R.J. Barrett, two hot new talents in the NBA. Even LeBron James was in the building, adding to the electrifying energy of the moment. As the game began, Zion wasted no time making his mark, throwing down a thunderous dunk that ignited the crowd. R.J. Barrett followed suit, sinking a smooth three-pointer that showcased his shooting prowess. It seemed destined to be a night of epic back-and-forth battles between these rising stars. But then, out of nowhere, the unexpected struck. A tremor reverberated through the arena, sending shockwaves of confusion and concern rippling through the crowd. We're experiencing an earthquake right now, the announcer's voice echoed through the stadium, cutting through the chaos. Players looked around in disbelief as the ground beneath them trembled. The score clock swayed, and the towering scoreboard above the court swayed ominously. With safety at the forefront, officials swiftly made the decision to evacuate the players and spectators. The game came to an abrupt halt, its conclusion premature and unexpected. The seismic event, originating from California, California and reaching all the way to the stadium in Las Vegas left everyone shaken. Earthquakes are a common occurrence in California due to the state's unique geological features and its location along the Pacific Ring of Fire. This region is characterized by intense seismic activity caused by the movement of tectonic plates beneath the Earth's surface. California's up most notorious fault line, the San Andreas Fault, stretches approximately 800 miles through the state and is responsible for many of its significant earthquakes. The fault's movement can lead to various seismic events, ranging from small tremors to devastating quakes that can cause widespread damage. Despite the advancements in technology and engineering, predicting earthquakes remains a challenge, leaving residents constantly aware of the potential 
threat. To mitigate the impact of earthquakes, California has implemented stringent building codes and emergency preparedness measures. The devastating Great San Francisco earthquake of 1906 serves as a sobering reminder of the region's seismic vulnerability and the importance of resilience. While seismic monitoring and research efforts have improved over the years, the unpredictability of earthquakes underscores the necessity for ongoing public education and preparedness initiatives. Californians are encouraged to have emergency plans in place and to secure their homes and belongings to minimize risks during seismic events. As the dust settled and the tremors subsided, it became clear that this earthquake would not only be remembered for its intensity, but also for its impact on the careers of Zion and RJ, whose paths in the NBA would forever be marked by this seismic interruption. Some argue that earthquakes are proof that nature is angry with mankind. Do you know who else is angry? Dennis Rodman. He kicked the cameraman. He was really upset. Dennis Rodman kicked the cameraman. So Dennis Rodman is known for doing key things like dating Madonna and for weird things like dressing in unusual outfit. But let's not forget the time he kicked the cameraman during a basketball game. It was a crazy moment. The cameraman got hurt and Dennis got in trouble and had to stop playing for a while. Sometimes, in the heat of the game, emotions run high and players can act out of anger in ways that surprise everyone. It's not uncommon to see players vent their frustrations through aggressive actions or verbal outbursts, especially when the stakes are high and tensions are palpable. From heated arguments with referees to physical physical altercations with opponents, instances of players lashing out in anger can inject a sense of drama and intensity into the game. However, such behavior often comes with consequences ranging from penalties and fines to suspensions and damaged reputation. These moments serve as reminders of the passion and intensity that drive athletes to excel, but also highlight the importance of maintaining composure and sportsmanship, even in the face of adversity. While emotions may flare up in the heat of competition, true sportsmanship lies in channeling those emotions constructively and displaying grace under pressure, setting an example for fans and aspiring athletes alike. The cameraman actually got an award for pretending to be hurt really well. It was all pretty weird, but that's just how things went with Dennis. Dennis Rodman is still a basketball icon known for his colorful personality both on and off the court and has left an indelible mark on the sport. Renowned for his ferocious rebounding, defensive prowess, and relentless hustle, Rodman carved out a niche as one of the most dominant and tenacious players in NBA history. But it wasn't just his skills on the hardwood that captured attention. It was his larger-than-life persona and eccentric behavior that made him a household name. From his ever-changing hair colors to his flamboyant fashion choices, Rodman was a walking spectacle, always pushing the boundaries of what was considered conventional. Beyond the glitz and glamour, however, Rodman's life was marked by tumultuous personal struggles, including battles with addiction and mental health issues. Despite the challenges he faced, Rodman's resilience and perseverance endeared him to fans worldwide as they witnessed his transformation Formation from a troubled youth to a beloved basketball legend. Off the court, Rodman's unconventional diplomacy, including his unlikely friendship with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, further solidified his status as a cultural icon. Whether he was dominating the boards, captivating audiences with his antics, or transcending boundaries in the realm of politics, Dennis Rodman's impact on the world of basketball and beyond is undeniable, cementing his legacy as one of the most fascinating and enigmatic figures in sports history. The incident with the cameraman is a strange memory in basketball history, showing that unexpected things can happen in the midst of an emotional rush. Speaking about emotional rush, does anyone remember the time O'Neal passionately flew into the crowd, almost killing someone? Tough shot won't go. O'Neal gonna save it. Watch out! Oh! O'Neal flew into the crowd. Shaquille O'Neal, also known as Shaq, is undoubtedly one of the most dominant players in NBA history. Standing at a towering seven feet, one inch tall and weighing over 300 pounds, Shaq's sheer size and power made him a force to be reckoned with on the court. But there's one incident that stands out as the craziest and most dangerous moment of his career. It happened during a game between the Orlando Magic and the Sacramento Kings in the late 90s. The game was intense, with both teams battling it out for the win. With the clock winding down, the Magic found themselves in a tight spot. They needed a big play to turn the tide in their favor. In a desperate attempt to save the ball from going out of bounds, Shaq lunged towards the sideline. With incredible athleticism for a man of his size, he managed to keep the ball in play. But in the process, he lost his balance and went flying into the stands. The crowd gasped in horror as Shaq's massive frame hurtled towards them. It was a frightening scene. And if you were sitting in that area, 
it could have been deadly. Spectators scrambled to get out of the way, fearing the worst. Fortunately, the disaster was narrowly averted. Shock crashed into empty seats, narrowly missing the fans who were seated there just moments before. The impact was jarring, but both Shaq and the fans escaped serious injury. The incident served as a wake-up call for the NBA and its teams. It highlighted the need for improved safety measures and reinforced the importance of keeping players and fans protected during games. From that point on, arenas implemented stricter guidelines to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future. For Shaq, the near-fatal flight into the crowd was a humbling experience. It reminded him of the immense responsibility that comes with his incredible physical abilities. He became more conscious of his actions on the court and the potential risks they posed to himself and others. In the aftermath of the incident, Shaq expressed his gratitude that no one was seriously hurt. He acknowledged the potential danger he had put himself and the fans in, vowing to be more cautious in the future. It was a valuable lesson that he carried with him throughout his career. While the incident was undoubtedly shocking and terrifying, it ultimately led to positive changes in the NBA. It prompted a re-evaluation of safety protocols and a renewed commitment to protecting players and fans alike. At number five is a wild moment that went on to change the course of Charles Barkley's life. And I forget when the spit incident happened. It was probably my third or fourth year at the NBA. And uh, I remember I got suspended. Charles Barkley spat on a little girl. In the realm of wild moments in NBA history, few incidents can match the sheer audacity and disbelief of Charles Barkley spitting on a little girl. It was a moment that left fans and spectators in utter shock, forever etching itself into the annals of basketball history. The incident took place during a heated game in 1991. Barkley, known for his fiery personality and unfiltered remarks, found himself engaged in a verbal altercation with a heckler in the stand. Fueled by the intensity of the moment, Barkley lost control of his emotions and in a moment of sheer recklessness, spat in the direction of the heckler. However, fate had a cruel twist in store. Barkley's spit missed its intended target and instead landed on an innocent eight-year-old girl sitting nearby. The crowd gasped in disbelief as the saliva made contact with the young girl's face. It was a shocking and deeply disturbing sight that no one could have anticipated. The fallout from the incident was immediate and severe. Barkley was heavily criticized by the media and fans alike for his deplorable actions. The NBA, recognizing the gravity of the situation, swiftly handed down a $10,000 fine to Barkley, making it clear that such behavior would not be tolerated. What made this incident even more astonishing was Barkley's response in the aftermath. Rather than deflecting blame or offering a heartfelt apology, Barkley attempted to justify his actions by claiming that he was aiming for the heckler and missed. This feeble excuse only served to further tarnish his reputation and deepen the shock and disappointment felt by fans in the basketball community. In the years that followed, Barkley's relationship with the young girl and her family took an unexpected turn. Despite the initial shock and anger, the girl's family chose to forgive Barkley, recognizing that his actions were a result of a heated moment and not a reflection of his true character. Barkley, in turn, expressed remorse for his behavior and made efforts to build a relationship with the girl and her family. It was a testament to the power of forgiveness and the potential for growth and redemption. Barkley's momentary lapse in judgment forever altered the lives of those involved and left an indelible mark on his own legacy. In the years that followed, Barkley would go on to become a respected basketball analyst and a beloved figure in the sports world. However, the incident of spitting on a little girl would always be a stain on his career, a reminder of the darker side of his personality. The incident also sparked a broader conversation about the behavior of athletes and the responsibility they have as role models. It served as a wake-up call for the NBA and other professional sports leagues to address issues of sportsmanship and conduct both on and off the court. At number six is the wild moment when an NBA arena turned into Waterland. Out of absolutely nowhere, this is the most asinine, ridiculous thing I've ever seen as a broadcast. Arena got flooded. Smoke from fireworks triggered a water cannon on the northeast side of the building, causing it to go off for a few minutes. In a bizarre and unforgettable turn of events, an NBA arena found itself submerged in chaos when an unexpected flood disrupted the game and left spectators and broadcasters in disbelief. The incident unfolded with absurdity and incredulity, as smoke from celebratory fireworks triggered a water cannon on the northeast side of the building, unleashing a torrential downpour that inundated the arena with approximately 10,000 gallons of water. As the water cannon 
cannon erupted into action. It created a spectacle akin to a one-gun salute, blasting water into the air with tremendous force. The sudden deluge caught everyone off guard, including broadcasters who found themselves at the epicenter of the chaos. Amidst the confusion, one can only imagine the scene as broadcasters scrambled to maintain composure while their surroundings transformed into a makeshift water park. For those unfortunate enough to be in the line of fire, the consequences were immediate and undeniable. Seats located near the flash flood zone became submerged beneath the rising waters, leaving spectators drenched and bewildered. The once comfortable confines of the arena were now transformed into a watery battleground, with spectators and staff alike left to grapple with the surreal reality of their predicament. As the floodwaters receded and the chaos subsided, the aftermath of the incident was clear. Ruined outfits, waterlogged equipment, and a lingering sense of incredulity lingered in the air. Yet amidst the absurdity, there remained a sense of camaraderie and shared experience among those who witnessed the spectacle firsthand. In the annals of NBA history, few incidents rival the sheer absurdity and unexpectedness of an arena flood triggered by errant firework. It serves as a reminder that even in the midst of a tightly controlled and meticulously planned event, the unexpected can still occur, leaving a lasting impression on all those who bear witness to its spectacle. Talk about a wet and wild experience, but not as wild as number seven. That time with myself, Kareem, and Kevin Cooner, a scuffle broke up between me and Kevin Cooner. And as that was being broken up, broken up, I saw something from the corner of my eye and it was Rudy running at me at 100 miles an hour, and I swung. Kermit Washington punched Rudy Tomjanovich's face. One of the wildest moments in NBA history occurred in 1977 when Kermit Washington delivered a devastating punch to Rudy Tomjanovich's face. It was a freak incident that unfolded during a typical NBA brawl. As players were engaged in a heated altercation, Rudy Tomjanovich, in an attempt to play peacemaker, rushed in to separate everyone. However, Kermit Washington had a different plan in mind. With incredible force, he unleashed a punch that connected with Rudy Tomjanovich's face, causing a collision that resembled a car wreck rather than a fight. The impact of the punch was catastrophic. Rudy's face was completely destroyed, and he later revealed that he could taste his own spinal fluid. The sound of the punch echoed through the arena, leaving the crowd in stunned silence. Even Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Kermit's teammate, compared the sound to a melon being dropped onto concrete. The aftermath of this wild moment was severe. Kermit Washington was suspended for 60 days, and Rudy Tomjanovich's life would never be the same. The physical and emotional trauma he endured from tasting his own spinal fluid left a lasting impact. This moment pushed the boundaries of what was considered acceptable in professional basketball. It showcased the extreme consequences that could arise from on-court altercations. The NBA, and sports as a whole, began to take player behavior more seriously after this incident. The era of lenient suspensions was over, and a new reality set in. The next wild moment is a choking incident no one can forget. In the case of Latrell's Freewell, it meant losing your cool and your job for choking your coach. Latrell Spruell chokes his coach. The incident took place during a practice session in 1997. Spruill, known for his volatile temper and fiery demeanor, found himself engaged in a heated argument with his head coach, PJ Carlesimo. As tensions escalated, the situation quickly spiraled out of control, culminating in a shocking act of aggression. In a moment of sheer rage, Spruill lunged at Carlesimo, wrapping his hands around his neck and choking him for a harrowing 10 seconds. It was a terrifying display of anger and aggression, a moment that left everyone present in a state of shock and disbelief. The aftermath of the incident was swift and severe. Spruill was immediately suspended indefinitely by the Golden State Warriors, his team at the time. The NBA, recognizing the gravity of the situation, handed down a one-year suspension, effectively ending Spruill's season and casting a dark cloud over his future in the league. What made this incident even more astonishing was the fact that it didn't end there. After being restrained and escorted away, Spruill returned to the scene of the altercation 20 minutes later, launching another attack on Carlesimo. This time, he managed to land a quick punch to the coach's face before being hauled away once again. It was a shocking display of aggression and a clear indication of the deep-seated anger that Spruill harbored. The fallout from the incident was far-reaching. Spruill's reputation took a severe hit and he became a pariah in the basketball community. The incident overshadowed his accomplishments on the court and forever defined him as the player who choked his coach. It was a label that would follow him throughout his career and beyond. In the years that followed, Spruill struggled to find his footing in the NBA. Despite his undeniable talent, teams were hesitant to take a chance on a player with such a troubled past. He bounced around the league, never quite recapturing the success he had prior to the incident. Looking back on this shocking incident, it serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of unchecked anger and the impact it can have on one's career and reputation. Spruell's momentary loss of control forever 
altered the trajectory of his life and left an indelible mark on the NBA. The incident also sparked a broader conversation about the culture of aggression and violence in professional sports. It forced the league and its players to confront the issue of player-coach relationships and the boundaries that should be respected. In the years since the incident, Spruill has expressed remorse for his actions and attempted to move forward with his life. However, the incident of choking his coach will always be a defining moment in his career, a reminder of the consequences of unchecked anger and the importance of self-control. It is a moment that will forever be remembered as a dark chapter in Spruill's career and a stark reminder of the consequences of our action. And at number 10 is the moment Verno Maxwell broke a fan's jaw. Vernon Maxwell broke fans' jaw. In the year 1995, during an intense basketball match held in Portland, Oregon, an unexpected and startling event unfolded, centering around the renowned basketball player Vernon Maxwell, famously known as Mad Mac. Maxwell was not only recognized for his formidable skills on the court, but also for his assertive and robust playing style. However, on this particular occasion, his actions took a shocking turn. Throughout the game, a spectator in the stands continuously hurled insults and derogatory remarks towards Maxwell. These words grated on Maxwell's nerves until he reached his breaking point. Disregarding the customary boundaries that separated players from spectators, Maxwell impulsively charged towards the stands and delivered a forceful punch to the fan's face, resulting in a broken jaw. The sudden eruption of violence sent shockwaves throughout the entire arena, plunging it into a state of utter chaos and disbelief. Maxwell was widely recognized for his defensive skills and ability to score points, making him a valuable asset to any team he played for. Throughout his career, he played for several teams, including the Houston Rockets, San Antonio Spurs, and Orlando Magic, showcasing his versatility and adaptability on the court. Following this disturbing incident, the National Basketball Association (NBA) took swift disciplinary action against Maxwell. He was suspended from participating in games for a period of 10 matches and was also slapped with a hefty fine of $20,000. However, what truly captivated the public's attention was Maxwell's defense strategy. During the subsequent legal proceedings, Maxwell's lawyer argued that the fan had provoked him by using highly offensive language. This argument was intended to portray Maxwell's actions as justifiable in the heat of the moment, a stance that garnered considerable controversy and debate. Despite his occasional controversy, Maxwell's impact on the NBA was substantial. He played a vital role in helping the Houston Rockets win back-to-back -back championships in NAW. 1994 and 1995 showcasing his ability to perform under pressure on the grandest stage. Maxwell's tenacity and competitive spirit endeared him to fans, even as his behavior sometimes drew criticism. This unsettling episode serves as a stark reminder of how quickly tensions can escalate in the world of sports, and how even the most seasoned and composed athletes can find themselves overcome by emotions. It underscores the importance of maintaining sportsmanship and respect, both on and off the court, and serves as a cautionary tale against allowing emotions to cloud judgment and lead to regrettable action. And that's it for the 10 wildest moments in NBA history. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on the video cards on your screen.